I mean, I have to be honest. There were so many times I was like, what in the world have I got myself into? <laughs> there were so many times yeah. when I wanted to like, man, you know what? I remember right. you saying well, that. Maybe I chose the wrong thing. Maybe I did too much. Maybe I started too many podcasts too at one fast. time. Uh-huh. Maybe I was moving too fast. But then looking at it, I mean, 2022, I mean, really stopping, stepping back and looking. And now it's crazy because all the seeds, throwing them seeds is hard work. Listen, mm-hmm. it is hard work. It can be a little discouraging when you're sowing seed and you don't don't see mm. the harvest there's something going on under, under the ground yeah. but you can't see it with your eye and because you can't see it with your eye it looked like nothing. hello and welcome to another amazing episode of tmc where we are here to help you take your relationship from, from surviving, surviving to, to thriving. thriving and if this is your first time joining with us go ahead and subscribe hit that like button hit the notification bell so you won't miss any amazing episodes Today on TMC, we're going to have our journey. We're catching up with our TMC audience and our listeners and telling you where we are now and what's going on with us. Absolutely. This has been an amazing journey so far. We've really been going through so many things. It's interesting how we started the TMC podcast almost a year and a half ago. I mean, even going back further, the Lead to Greatness, for those of you who don't know, I have a leadership podcast uh, called Lead to Greatness, where I'm interviewing amazing yes, entrepreneurs. Yes. And, you know, we talk about business startup. We talked about business. We talk about issues and struggles within business. So if you have any entrepreneurs that's here on the TMC podcast, uh, go ahead and subscribe to Lead to Greatness as well. I promise you there's so much value for you in your life. I'm telling you, it's been so amazing for me. And even the way we do business, you know, having the opportunity to, you know, to talk to all these brilliant minds every Absolutely. week. So it's definitely been an amazing ride. I remember January 2020. Uh-huh. January 2020 is kind of the time when, you know, we really say, okay, we finna pull some plugs. Uh-huh. As we talk about, you know, our journey. Uh, It's really interesting how in 2020, I remember I was supposed to come off at the time, 18 years, come off the job and go into full time. On the very last day, I never forget if it was around 12 o'clock, I had my exit interview at two o'clock and I had a conversation with someone and we talked about, you know, just working out timeframes, you know, and keeping me, you know, within the company, use my time where I can do the business and also do what I'm doing as well. Fortunate working for an amazing company that was able to, you know, we was able to work out something. Absolutely. Because before January, 2020, you did the promo video for Lead to Greatness. We prepared to launch. Uh, we started Lead to Greatness as Other a company, business. Yeah. And then we were launching the podcast. Uh-huh. And yes, you were scheduled to initially, the idea was you coming off of your full-time job. And for myself, I would continue working in corporate and America. Two years later. Yeah. And work for <laughs> another two years. So, yeah. and, and as we sit here and talk about this, I just think about couples and just encouraging you that sometimes along the way, the journey changes. Absolutely. Our journey has changed. We had plans and God stepped in and he intervened. Yeah. And even though we had plans, his plan prevails in our lives yeah. because we trust him yeah. and those plans worked out even better than we could imagine and so now instead of you you yeah. work your corporate job Four you were able day. to stay yeah. there and continue to add value there in the yeah. capacity and then I am now full-time wow. working <laughs> ministry and our businesses yes. lead to greatness Amazing. and working on TMC and our outreach ministry meet the street yeah a couple of years ago to so COVID, years, COVID-19 mm-hmm. happened and that was a totally different trying to finagle and navigate through COVID-19 and all the changes and all the mandates and all the different things that transpired within the last two years. It's been, wow, it's been, it's been really a journey to shift with it. When we were talking and just thinking about updating the TMC listeners and we started thinking about all the things that transpired on our journey and some things we can't explain because some things are just God doing things on our behalf and moving for us but definitely having that plan that plan gives you a foundation it gives you something to look at it gives you something to measure up to it gives you something to look at and to know 
what is the ultimate plan? What's the ultimate goal and what you set out to do? And although it may take a different path to get there, you still see it coming to fruition. I remember the very first episode that we recorded for TMC, Cedric was like, yeah, let's do the, let's do a marriage channel. And I'm Mm. like, yeah, because of the pandemic, we had started to talk to a lot of couples and talk to a lot of couples. And we were meeting with couples on zoom and it was like, we want to help so many people. We only have a limited amount of time in a day because we still have ministry. We still have at the time, we still had jobs and we were still doing this and doing that and things of that nature. And we want to add value. And so that's what birthed the TMC. Exactly. So therefore, for yeah. TMC was birth because it allows us to make videos and then everyone can watch it at their own leisure yeah. in their own time and it can be a blessing to them and it's been a blessing to us as well yeah, because absolutely. of all of the amazing people absolutely. that we are now yeah. in contact with because of TMC yeah. all of the wonderful coaches all the wonderful yeah. counselors therapists yeah. and the other married couples that we have now connected with and they they are pouring into us as well as sharing with the TMC listeners and I think it's great And I just think the idea of the journey and the process and thinking about what the plan was and because it was outside of what we planned, but it stayed on course because it produced what God wanted us to be. Yeah. January, 2020. I mean, TMC wasn't even thought of. Mm -hmm. I mean, TMC wasn't even part of the process. It was all about lead to greatness, but like we've seen issues and we've seen problems uh, with marriages because, you know, have pandemic happening. Now you have people that, you know, if if you have to a couple, you know, they out working and they're separating. They only, they only at home for, you know, two, three hours, Mm -hmm. you know, awake and then they go to sleep you know to being home all day you really begin to uh learn each other and yeah. some people realize like man you know what i don't i don't like you like that <laughs> you know so it's like man hit the brakes and we just kind of it was kind of really a spare of the moment doing the uh, tmc podcast <laughs> because you know i think about it, we talked about it later on you know because we started uh the lead to greatness podcast in january mm-hmm. started the tmc podcast in august so now I mean, the difficult and you guys have no idea. I mean, I don't know what it looks like from the outside, but it's, we adjusted to it, but it wasn't an easy task. I remember one time when we, when I made the decision, because I seen the problem and I was like, man, we need to help. We yeah. need to help relationship. We need to help relationship. And we started the TMC podcast. And then when I started, I'm looking like what in the world that I done? Just launching time. two podcasts at the same time. And that's, that's very difficult because, you know, you're taught when you're starting a business or when you're starting something that you're supposed to target laser focus. focus. So now you know, we have to put some time into Lead to Greatness podcast, put some time into the TMC podcast. And that was very, very mm-hmm. challenging. A year and a half into it, we're just going. Yeah. We're just going. It's normal now. Yeah. And then yeah. you take you, you you take time and you just really think about it like, wow, wow, how did we get here? Mm-hmm. You know, being featured on a magazine. What's the name of the magazine? The Voyager. So go ahead and check that out. Go to March 1st and check out, read the article. But it's just so much going on. I mean, ministry. I'm also a pastor. I'm a pastor. And so now in the pandemic, not only are we doing business, podcasts, but now it's so much transition going on in ministry, you know, in the middle, in the, in the beginning of the pandemic, because me nor any other pastor or leaders to talk about, we had no clue. Nobody, it, we, you couldn't read a book on this. You couldn't plan for this. I mean, it was nothing ever written about how to deal with a pandemic, let alone COVID-19 that was literally, I mean, you know, families were, you know, people lost their families and, you know, it's just really, just really crazy moment, you know? Absolutely. And um, as you mentioned, even when publisher from the voyage asked us that question, we had to think about the things that were shifting and navigating in our lives throughout the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And like you said, shifting and changing the operation for ministry and how we stay connected to members and how we stay yeah. connected and when everything go from in-person to yeah. digital and online. And so many things were being navigated. Mm-hmm. And I remember responding to that question, the question was sometimes we were often shifting from day to day because something that needed to be done yesterday is no longer needing to be done today or something that we were not doing yesterday now needs to be done today. So there was a shift 
all constantly all the time shifts for quite a while. And yeah. that was a part of our journey. And I think that um, experiencing starting lead to greatness, yeah. um, the business, then the podcast, then launching TMC podcast, it, it gave us this normalcy of shifting because sometimes, oh, yeah. especially That's for me, it was right. like, you know, once we had a plan, it's like this plan got to carry out exactly how we got it on the paper and, and that's how it has to be. Yeah. But I learned something in these last two years of this process yeah. that all the time, the plan doesn't necessarily go the way you write it out. But like the point is to have a plan. Yeah. And then when God shifts your plan, you move with him yeah. because he's moving you to a greater level for yeah. a greater purpose, for a greater outcome. And yeah. if you stay stuck on your plan, you're going to miss what he has for you. The same way, whether it's business or relationship, when you are in relationship with God, when he shifts, you shift with him and you have a plan, but yeah. you shift with his plan because that's going to take you to greater purpose, greater vision, greater everything because it's God. It's yeah. him doing and, it. And I would tell anyone, don't stop. No, don't, don't quit. stop. No Keep matter what going. it looks No like. matter what. Keep yeah. going. I yeah. mean, that was a thing because I mean, I have to be honest. There were so many times I was like, what in the world have I got myself into? <laughs> there were so many times yeah. when I wanted to like, man, man, you know what? Maybe I, I remember right, you saying that. Well, maybe I chose the wrong thing. Maybe I did too much. Maybe I started too many podcasts too at one fast. time. Uh -huh. Maybe I was moving too fast. But then looking at it, I mean, 2022, I mean, really stopping, stepping back and looking. And now it's crazy because all the seeds, mm -hmm. all the seeds, and sowing them seeds is hard work. Listen, mm -hmm. it is hard work. And it's really hard work. And it can be a little discouraging when you're sowing seed and you don't see mm -hmm. the harvest. Well, you don't see go, anything yeah, coming out of yet. the ground. There, there's something going on under the ground, yeah. but you can't see it with your eye. And because you can't see it with your eye, it looked like nothing never happening. So don't stop. You no. may say that in your business. I'm Keep planting these seeds. I'm Keep I'm watering. out here. I'm marketing. I'm I'm out here. I'm networking Keep and nothing watering. is happening. And you may say that in your ministry, whatever it is, I'm out here. I'm, I'm meeting people. I'm doing this. I'm doing what you told me to do, God. And it seems like nothing is happening, but that's because it starts underneath first. Yeah. And then and once watering, it pops man. up and you see the product, you see the harvest, you begin to see not only for you to reap what it is that you have sown, but for others, if you're married, it's your children, your family, your husband, your togetherness. The work sure. is toiling the ground. Yeah. The work is putting the seed in there and continuing yeah. to water it. I definitely feel like we, and we're not even, we're, we're just, I, I tell Cedric this, I said, I feel like we are just beginning. We are just beginning because I know that God has so much in store for us and there's so many people yeah. that he has for us to connect with yeah. for the purpose of the kingdom yeah. because our idea is to help reduce the divorce rate yeah. help to save and mend families help to build the foundation of the kingdom which is families help to restore men to their rightful place as kings of their family and kings of their home and Amen. for their exactly and for their queen to line up with the word of God in her life and be his helpmate and for them to produce kingdom children yeah. and kingdom ministries and kingdom, kingdom finance, business and kingdom yeah. finance and kingdom everything yeah. so we're just beginning and we know that God has a work for us and many of you to work alongside of other people so that someone else can see that it's possible for me too. Everything that God did for them, he can do for me too. God saved her marriage. He can save my marriage. God gave them a great marriage. I can have a great marriage too. And we can speak those things. We can write the vision, yeah. make it plain and live it out in our lives. And our journey that we are sharing with you today is just the beginning. Absolutely. Remember that it's just the beginning. And so many of you will ride along with us on this journey and we will continue to do what God has purposed us to do to help other people and to continue to be a blessing to the kingdom to make his name great. Yeah. Talk about the fact of don't quit. Oh, yeah. Don't quit. Don't. But I, I really want to kind of slow down a little bit because we're getting excited. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. excited already. I, I, I want to slow down a little bit and I want to look at the aspect of what that looked like. Because here's one of the things that go on in our head. It happened to me mm -hmm. and I see it happen to a lot of people. You tend to quit or you tend to move on to the next thing. And I think that's a lot of times in our minds because we want to see, we want to see the growth right away. Mm -hmm. We jump and we're shifting and we're moving around and we're, we're putting seeds into the ground and moving into another vineyard. 
And this vineyard is not even fully tended to. Yes. It's like mm-hmm. understanding that fruit, understanding that business, understanding that business model and, and knowing like, you know, this business model, what, 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 what is going on? What is going on? I, mean, I need some lotion on here. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm real, I'm real, really I'm real ashy, real ashy. So forgive me. Don't look at the ash. Don't look at the ash, but you have fruit, right? You have peaches, you, you have apples, you, ha- you have watermelons. You know, get into the vegetables. You have turnip greens, and 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 you have uh, broccoli, and all these potatoes, and all these different things. It takes different time frames, different timing, to see the to harvest mm-hmm. of the production. Mm-hmm. Right. With that being said, I think that's what we need to do in our businesses or our lives, whatever it is. It can be in our marriage, marriage. whatever you're mm-hmm. pointing, you're putting seed into your marriage. You have to understand that each thing takes a different time. Yeah. Each fruit takes a different time to grow because there's different stages and some stages are longer than other stages. I mean, for a human being, it takes 10 months to have a baby for a dog. It takes three months. I mean, it's knowing the stages and knowing the time to help with that discouragement. I think the worst thing for us to do is to change too soon. Mm, Like to start this business, then next month, the idea change, you know, sticking to that one thing and not jumping around you know, to all these different things, because it's so easy to do. And I know how easy it is, because it's the same thing that we go through in our process. It's like really sticking to it, sticking to the situation, no matter what. Sometimes I think we do give up. A lot of times we give up too soon. And it's like, okay, I I tried this for three weeks, and this ain't working. So I'm done. You know, I, I tried talking different to him for three weeks. I tried listening to her for three weeks, and this is just not working. So I'm done. But what you have to do is realize not only do they need more time to grow some things need more tending to some things take longer to ripen than others in order for a certain fruit to reach their sweetness they have to ripen sometimes if you eat a fruit and it tastes bitter it's because it didn't have the time to ripen they might put something on it to make it grow mm. faster but it doesn't have the time to ripen and we okay. have to understand it's the same way with our relationships with our marriages with our kids with our businesses if it doesn't have time to ripen then you it it produces something but it's not producing the way it's supposed to and sometimes that thing is a little bit bitter like that fruit that was produced before Mm. it was supposed to be it doesn't have that sweetness that it's supposed to have so we definitely want to be careful and we never want to negate the process there is a process to everything whether it's growing whether it's baking whether whatever it is business family finance everything there is a process and if we negate the process or try to skip steps, yeah. then it, it's going to produce something, but it's not going to necessarily produce what we want. Yeah. I love what you said that you said bitter and sweet. I mean, life can be sweet. Yeah. It's like, man, this is what I'm doing. is so sweet. It's sweet. This is sweet, sweet gig, sweet, sweet business, sweet, whatever, sweet ministry, sweet, whatever. But then it can also be bitter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, some the same thing, the same fruit. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're not talking about different fruit from a different mm-hmm. tree. We're talking about the exact same fruit. That's the exact same fruit. And if you pull it off too soon, you pull it out on a bitter stage mm-hmm. and it's not ready to eat yet. It's mm-hmm. not ready to consume. Mm-hmm. So we had to, to lead to greatness, TMC, the church. And also, a man, uh, Meet the Streets. It's so exciting. It's so exciting to see. For so many years, we Meet the Streets, and we are thankful to every, let me take this time, to thank every Meet the Streets volunteer that has kept Meet the Streets going and full-time. You guys have been dedicated, sewing into the vision vision. since 2016, working with the community, Fifth Ward. We're working in the community always, always since 2016. Shout out to the catering company. That's it. That's it. Your favorite big girls kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Look up on Instagram. And so we created this nonprofit and we focused on the community, the immediate community surrounded by our church, where our church is located in Fifth Ward, Texas, in Houston. And we focused on that community. And over the years, everyone else has had the opportunity to focus on that ministry meet the streets but then um when i came off my corporate job then i started working meet the streets and it's just i mean i'm about to get emotional it's it's very very it's a it's a blessing to me because i see 
volunteers week after week, dedicating their time, dedicating their treasure, people always calling to give us donations, and people call their aunts and their cousins, and every, y'all feed the community, the y'all donation, give clothes to the community. Donation. Yes, we and we have we just uh, got the water. Yeah, we have part we have companies that are now partnering with us to be able to bless the community. Wow. And I, I thank God for each and every one of them because everything they give us, we're gonna give it away. Wow. We're gonna give it to the community. Wow. And it's 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 rewarding, but it's it's just so it's so great because I feel like God is lining things up for the people to be able to help a community of people that sometimes so many people have forgotten about. How, how did that make you feel though? Because here it is. So we, we've been feeding the community for, I, mean, I didn't realize it was that long for a little longer than five years. And it's really, I mean, all this time and like we get to the point now where it's like all these things donates, like people yeah. and, and realizing like, wow, all these organizations out there, but they just don't know who we are. And mm -hmm. it's like that connecting but that you relationship. Know what I think about when you just said that what came to my mind and I'm like wow you said continue to water it because when we first started we had members that were donating food and donating money that. and donating yeah. their time and cooking and, cooking, yeah. and we could only, we only had enough to feed 50 people and, yeah. and it was like every week they were giving yeah. up their own time their own treasure their yeah. own money to help produce this vision and now because of them continuing all of the people Dang, giving to meet the streets right. continuing yeah. to water that. Yeah. And now it's like God is fruitioning it and it's coming to it's coming to fruition. And we're now seeing the harvest. And we have companies that are now able to look at what we do and see what all of the volunteers. And it's just growing. It's yeah, just what growing. all the volunteers have helped like, us it's, to it's build. Companies I can't even talk about right now. Oh, yeah. Cause cause I, yeah, it's okay. still coming yeah, it's still happening. and we thank Man, you so all in stuff. advance. Yeah, yeah, thank you in advance, CEOs or whatever. Know what I'm talking about? But man, it's it just it's just so amazing. It's really it, it's man. <laughs> what? It's just it's exciting. It, it's just it's so really. amazing because we're here, right? And it's like we seen where we came from, mm -hmm. and we seen where we are, and all this support that's happening mm -hmm. alongside. But now it's like the big vision, the big, I'm talking about the major vision. The we haven't even scratched the surface to what Meet the Streets is going to be. The ultimate vision of Meet the Streets. It's like we don't even have the funding we need mm -hmm. to do, you know, how far uh, God is going to take uh, Meet the Streets by itself. And what's so amazing, too, and this is another thing, too, TMC fam, you know, the look into when, you, when you're doing your vision, when you're doing your thing, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your business, whether it's your children, whether it's your finance, no matter what it is, it's like you have this idea, you have this vision mm -hmm. in your mind, you have mm -hmm. this plan, but then the plan began to open up. And what's so crazy about this, it, like when you get the vision or for me, I don't know, maybe there's some visionaries out there that, you know, see the big picture. It's like in the beginning, it's like had cataracts or something. Mm -hmm. Like I can Fog. see it, I can see it, but it wasn't clear. And then the vision gets bigger and it's like, wow. Yeah, then you can I mean, can you see it? You, you, you can do touch it. And when it takes a life of its own, it's like, it. yeah. You touch it. Now yeah, it's alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you well, at one point you got to carry it around. You got to mm -hmm. you got to feed it. But then it's able to feed itself. And all mm -hmm. you have to do is just kind of maintain, make making sure keeping it in line. It's like once that momentum gets going, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what, what's on the radar in the, for the next three months? Well, definitely, definitely uh, seeking more donations for Meet the Streets. That's mm -hmm. what we're working on, to grow Meet the Streets financially, to be able to do more for the community. Um, also, to, to be able to expand to the other areas, because we've done feeding for such a, a long time but and we want to we will continue that but yeah. we want to expand to other things like um after school programs for the youth or expanding to um like employment search programs or being able to bring social services to the fifth war community because a lot of people that live near or around they don't have vehicles or they rely on public transportation so bringing certain services to them that are far away from them and uh, empowering people to bring all kind of things financial class financial literacy classes credit repair bringing coaches therapists everybody because we definitely believe in working on becoming a better you and what you're exposed to things you know things that you didn't know before and it helps you to grow and be better and we want to share that with 
everyone in the community, bring people that God is connecting us with to the community so that they are able to give the community members that same exposure, that same information, that same leg up to be able to help them in their future endeavors and in their future lives and restoring relationships with their family, with their children and their significant others to grow and to be better. All of these things that he's named, the ministry, the businesses, the outreach, the vision is so great and it just continues to unfold. The whole goal in the next phase is to move to the next step. Yeah, yeah even with uh, even with the, with the church, I mean, with uh, New Direction. So, mm-hmm. you know, the whole thing is like, you know, to really focusing on disciples, not mm-hmm. focusing on members mm-hmm. of filling up pews but developing people, people. developing mm-hmm. people you know kingdom ministry kingdom people mm-hmm. kingdom marriages and kingdom children and kingdom finance and kingdom businesses and really developing developing the kingdom of god you know you know even podcasts you know the uh, tmc lead to greatness even the podcast uh you know with the audience you know developing and becoming better lives becoming better becoming better you know in their business and understanding thing about business that they did not know at first so it's so much so much stuff and it's, it's so rewarding and it's so so much pleasure in my heart just to see and the stories i hear stories i hear online things that you all would never probably never hear a lot of these stories i don't know maybe one day we probably can do a testimony or something I, i'm not sure but i mean there's just so much stuff and it's like wow and, and, and it just it, it makes my heart so glad you know just the different things uh, we have going on so i mean there's great things happening within the ministry like i say we have a great i mean amazing team amazing team a great team of leaders great people great hearts um, and man, people that love God and, and everybody coming together and man, really pointing to each other, a lot of us, and even me, me as a leader developing, you know, becoming better. So different now than I was in the beginning of 2020. I think we all are. Yeah, and we all are. Our journey has, I wouldn't say awarded me because it's yeah. definitely an award. It's awarded me time to look at myself, time to grow myself, time to pay attention to the things I do, the way I do it, how I respond, the ways I respond, becoming a better me. And I think we're always becoming because we continually to grow and change. And I know that the last few years, this journey has definitely produced that for me, produced things in me that I did not know were there, produced things and gave me the wisdom and the strength to do things, the idea to do things that I never thought I could do and um, not in a, a bragging type of way, but just as whatever it is, everyday life, doing things that I'm like, okay, and seeing myself show up better. And that's something that's rewarding for me. Yeah. So we talked about all these different areas. I, I want to, since we're on the, uh, the TMC podcast, the TMC community, I want to kind of talk about, you know, just really here we are right now i mean we're enjoying this i mean this is awesome tmc podcast is not going anywhere it's going to get better it's going to get stronger uh we bring in the best of the best interviewees uh, into the podcast i mean we have doctors we have psychologists we have all type of people lined up in the future for the tmc podcast what the audience can expect in the the near future They can definitely continue to expect more helpful information. We definitely will be speaking to more couples to share their stories because we believe that sharing your story and being open to others to hear, to learn from your growth process, they're learning from someone else's growth process, encouragement from seeing someone else going through something, they kept watering it and they saw the growth, they saw the change, they saw saw the shifting because this is a platform for, for help, for help and for guidance as well as to get the information beforehand so that you don't make the same mistakes that someone else made. And someone else's mistakes is a great learning opportunity for you. So it'll help others. And so definitely you can expect to see more couples, more coaches, more therapists, more people. We'll bring on more people to talk about finances, to talk about health, to talk about wealth, to talk about God, to talk about the things that are important to life. All these faucets we need 
to be who God created us to yeah. be. And so TMC, we're definitely looking forward to all of the amazing guests that yeah. we have planned for you all yeah. and co- the two of us yeah. continuing to share because I started smiling because I thought he was going to start talking about us um, because we've talked about it so many times over the last couple of years all through, you know, COVID oh, and the wow. pandemic yeah, and everything and how yeah. we um, just Grown us so were gro- growing as a couple yeah. and in our marriage and how things are for us. And um, I, I'm still I mean, from all the guests we didn't have on and, and I kind of it's kind of difficult for me because I'm I'm doing lead to greatness and TMC so I'm <laughs> learning business and all these business methods and you know through all the problems trials you know tribulations and and hurdles that people experience and then on TMC side I mean it's a totally different yeah, ballgame of things like we're relationship learning. and learning individual family, and uh, parenting. self I mean, man, and we're, we're and learning healing. as well yeah and we're absolutely, as well, man. absolutely. We, we, we're also we're also listeners we record it but then go back and, and listen, listen to it yeah. like sitting in the audience seat and I'm better because of it and man it definitely stands for what we say which is what's going to continue to happen it's going yeah. to take your, your relationship, relationship from, from surviving, surviving to thriving. thriving and we're just so excited we're so excited about this journey we're so excited as the TMC community constantly grow and grow and grow and such amazing people a lot of the people a lot of the coaches or whatever is getting connected and involved in the mm-hmm, community mm-hmm. uh so man it's so great uh, you know and i'm just so excited about the things uh that we have in the future some things some ideas we're not going to talk about right now uh but we have man some amazing things in store for the future of the tmc community uh, man, uh, so wow. So, man, we really just really thank you all for listening and joining us on today as we continue to talk about our journey and where we at. And we're gonna we're gonna pop in again, and we I yeah, want to do this again. Do you know, the next stages or whatever. Or if you have any comments? You know, I don't I don't know. Maybe uh, you want to hear uh, dig a little deeper into certain things or specific things. Send a message. You know, you can do it in the comments. You know, go ahead and like or whatever. Get this content out. Uh, so make sure you like because we have a lot of listeners but I, I always look and we don't have as many likes as we have people watching so you know we don't want to get those likes up as well you know, to get the word out because the algorithms and everything with YouTube or whatever so that would be great uh, you hit that like button right now just hit it boop, boop. Now, just hit it right now <laughs> definitely be appreciated and you just play the part and spreading the word by hitting that like button and we just thank you so much so we want to thank you for joining us today on tmc if you enjoy this content and look forward to the information we are telling you about to come then go ahead and subscribe click the like button and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified each time we upload a video and if you're listening on itunes rate the podcast and leave a review that helps us get the word out and we also want to encourage you to head on over to our leadership podcast lead to greatness where my husband is interviewing entrepreneurs and great leaders from all around the world every week and you don't want to miss it so we want to thank you for joining us today on tmc looking forward to hanging out with you again on next week as we continue to help you take your relationship from from surviving surviving to thriving thriving. Bye. bye see you next week Thank you.